I'm in Florida in the USA and this is Sugarloaf Mountain Road which leads up to Sugarloaf Mountain. That point at the top there is 310 feet above sea level and in 1926 the local Howie Tribune paper said that that point up there, Sugarloaf Mountain, is said to be the highest point in Florida. People thought that that is the highest point in the entire state. But it's not. The highest point is actually 317 miles, that's 511 kilometers that way. Here at Britain Hill, now a hill doesn't sound like it's going to be the highest point in the state when there's a mountain option, but it is. Look over there, there's a monument that states this is the highest point in Florida, an altitude of 345 feet. So why do people think that, that Sugarloaf, Sugarloaf Mountain, Mountain is, the is the highest, highest point, point in, in the state? state. Well, look well, it, looks it. Like it. it looks look like it. It looks like the highest Not point in that. the state. We're no and longer here, up on the this is the crowded the central area, the populated Florida, bit we are on the near Peninsula. Orlando. And the as main far as you can see, for miles around, that looks like the highest point. Whereas I'm all the way over here at the very edge of the state. The state line is literally just over there. I think I can see Alabama literally from here. And because the ground's going up, and in Alabama I think it gets even higher, this is just the highest point in Florida because this is the end of Florida. This That's is simply why not the highest point the in Florida. It's not a peak a like Sugarloaf Mountain. It's this gradient I mean, that just Alabama, happens to hit be honest, but the edge. Of all it the is cases technically we consider Florida this to be Florida, as Florida. and there's an important there's lesson, an important lesson we, can learn we can learn from this. From this. There is there's a concept, concept in computing called edge gradient cases, cases. I guess and this, this example case, of everyone sent. thinking and the fact that everyone Mountain thought the point that this local in Mountain central was the highest point visited in all of the Florida reminds, reminds me of the time, and bear with me here, an F-22 aircraft at GE was working on the design of turbine blades. In December there are several 2005, things you can change the in the F-22 design of a turbine. Aircraft went how many blades, service, and how you arrange them, US Air Force, what shape each blade the time, is. I assume they had integrated what angle avionics to make involved. it the world's most capable General Electric combat made a scale aircraft, one in ten model. End quote. To and frankly, a specific set million of US dollars each, them, you'd kind of hope for. But thousand I mean, you've got so what's preferable a lot is first of all, money, you're on a old computer aircraft, model, you had bits of string and wires that you'd pull to see how efficient to move bits of the aircraft around, not the F-22. Oh you no, think it was more how computer you than aircraft. That. It was basically all code. One in way February you could try to improve the design is by not only testing those specific values, but you vary them all Japan, slightly. You're testing all the designs all that are their nearby. Well, most of them one of those suddenly is better. crash. It the navigation your system went design. You vary it again and see offline. if any of the ones nearby are A whole bunch of the communication systems like climbing a mountain. But all you can see are your feet. And you take little steps in each direction and you see which step takes you the most. No, what has happened the best is they merely and then you move to that location and you just keep moving you're constantly line. following the, the gradient the time to see zone each step around the world take you a little bit closer to the optimal value at a time right at the top and suddenly you jump into yesterday The if US you started Air Force that process has not confirmed anywhere what around actually here, went wrong, you would end up obvious at the top the plane flew of Sugarloaf the International Dateline. Mountain. In the fact, date each time you tried it, by if a you whole reached day, a point where there was the no code further improvements out. locally, decided, and you jumped randomly somewhere else, system, you're probably going to end up back here at the top they did try of Sugarloaf. To mountain. Turn in fact, you could check the systems off and on again in a large area that didn't around work. here. So and while they were no able to still fly the planes, Sugarloaf Mountain they couldn't is navigate. The maximum. Thankfully, there's their another global maximum was nearby, miles away. and they were able to follow it, limping home back to Hawaii. But, but over there here, is, here in Britain, in Britain Hill, Hill, as the landscape other slopes up to the border, maxima, the edge as the landscape with Alabama, slopes there are up at least towards the border with local Alabama. Maxima, there are at least one of which four other the global local maxima. maxima. One of which and that's the problem. is the global no how good maxima, your code no is, matter how running and your working code is in the at range searching of for values, optimal values, you, think it will you never know function, if somewhere else in the space an extreme possible value somewhere else is a global better value that you somehow missed. Wow, so what a view from the top of the mountain and I hope we've all learned something about tales of computing going wrong. I've actually known about the whole Sugarloaf Mountain versus Britain Hill for a long time. A viewer emailed me years ago 
and mentioned it. And I've always wanted to come here and film this video as an excuse to tell an interesting story about computing. So when I realized I was gonna be nearby, I thought, you know what? I will stop by and make just this one and only one specific video. Speaking of which, this video is Hey, uh, it's me. I just wanted to say how much fun I had making this one and only one <laughs> specific video. And originally these were released on the main channel at exactly the same time. And in fact, they premiered live and I pretended it was the same video for a very long time, which I found hugely entertaining because it's a video about mistaking which is the correct version or the only version uh, of something. However, I really want to put them side by side like this. So I thought I'll put them on the second channel so people could enjoy them uh, in their synced up glory. And uh, this uh, sponsor message at the end has uh, forced my hand as well because this video was sponsored, this one and only one video, by established titles. And when I put this video out online, uh, immediately Everything just kind of broke loose because it came out right when there was a viral video saying that established titles is a scam. And uh, I thought I would uh, add a little message on to this re-upload to explain the original sponsorship that I had on the video. So if you want all the details about established titles and what happened, I highly recommend the Legal Eagle video about it. I'll link to that below, you can check it out. But the idea is this was a company where they would dedicate a one foot square plot of land on an estate in Scotland to you in exchange for money. And that meant because of some old tradition, you would therefore be a Lord or Lady of Scotland. And I thought this was a pretty funny uh, joke gift because I'm like, there are a lot of people in Scotland, the Scots who own land and houses and they're not all Lords. So obviously there's more to it than this. And I don't think people are gonna assume like their plot of land will get them mining rights or anything. And my policy, of not having any sponsors that I wouldn't use myself. I have bought some stupid gifts for my friends in the past. And when this popped up, I was like, oh, amazing. I wanna make this video about things that aren't what they appear to be, but closely resemble it. And I've got a sponsor that's got basically that as a product. And so I thought that was pretty hilarious. And so, uh, and it meant I could fund this whole extra trip in Florida, because we had to travel a long way for this. This was two days of non-stop filming. It was a lot of scripting and the editing was something else entirely, which uh, Alex, my editor, was very proud of. And uh, all of that was funded because of this. And it landed in my lap right as we were finalizing this trip around the US. And I thought that's very funny. Um, however, wider context since then, I realized both I, in the interest of Emphasizing the joke, I kind of uh, overstated. Oh, and the video's ended, there you are. Um, the, the final wrap up was about me desperately getting to the airport, which was absolutely true. We honestly filmed right up until we had to go. That was an exhaustive couple of days. Um, however, uh, I, I think to, to underline the joke, I overstated uh, th that it was, you know, indistinguishable being a lord from the real thing. And uh, I think I did too much of that. And the wider context, having watched the Legal Eagle video, which is great, link to it below, um, other YouTubers were really overstating this, like in, in contradiction to what the official wording was from established titles. In fact, some of established titles own promotion and advertising, uh, allegedly, and as far as I can tell, promised what they can't deliver, that it, you're officially a lord. So anyway, I just want to apologize. I thought it was a very funny joke gift. I leaned into it too much in my video and I'm normally so careful with um, sponsors that I, I uh, disappointed in myself for this misstep. I promise it won't happen again. And all my sponsors do go through a lot of vetting. I've had sponsors before where, because I get approached by a lot and turn down the vast majority. I've had ones where I have funded, filmed, done a video, sent it to them. They want me to change the wording and I think it's overstating what they're offering and I have like canceled the sponsorships. And, and just, I'm like, fine, the video's going out with no sponsor because I'm, you know, adamant that I'm honest up front and choose good sponsors and uh, not this time. Uh, but for, for the record, I did double check that established titles do donate money to tree charities. Like I verified they're giving money to the charities, they're planting trees. Some of the claims against them where people were getting upset were pretty outrageous. Uh, but I'm not trying to walk back my apology. Um, this is the internet, I'm very sorry. Uh, and so uh, there you are, I do apologize. Uh, all my uh, future sponsorships for Raid Shadow Legends will be, no, uh, you wouldn't, I've actually got an auto reply for uh, mobile phone 
games. You'd be amazed how many of them. Anyway, that's not the point. Thanks for watching. Uh, original videos are linked below. Check out the Legal Eagle one. Uh, I am very sorry.